Hello right, guys, so this is uh, me looking with my video camera held up the best I can to a Cheshire eyepiece with a centering adapter there as well on, on my Ritchie Cratian GSO uh, RC8 telescope. We want that dot there, and it's just quite difficult to do this by holding a video camera up to here. But we want that dot in the middle, you can see it there. It's quite tricky to do this. You can get it there, you can see the dot again here, got it then. You want that dot to be bang in the middle, absolutely spot on in the middle. And you do that by adjusting these screws here. A tiny, tiny little tweak of each of these screws is all that it takes. It sounds hideously complicated and you know what guys, when I first did this I was a bit worried because I've, I've read nightmares about collimating these scopes. I really, really have. And I thought, gee whiz, this sounds nasty. But in fact it's really, really straightforward when you do it. Another technique I've heard is something called the all of mirrors technique. When you get into certain alignments, I'm not sure it's going to show it, you can see, I'm not sure it's going to show it here, multiple reflections, hopefully it shows, I, I, can, I can just, see. yeah there you go, can you see the re multiple reflections occurring? When you get those concentric at either side of the spider vein, you know that you're in collimation, it's actually quite difficult to do, can you see the all of mirrors effect there look? When I, I'm aligning that top line just at the top of the mirror, and when you get that, when you get that pattern like that, where there's more, there's as much reflection on each side. It's difficult to hold because of the magnification. You know you're in collimation. Let's do it for this axis. Can you see? You know you're in collimation. You adjust the primary mirror by these screws at the back. So you undo that one there, and that one there and there's another one on the other side as well you want to do those and then the tiny little screw there Allen screw at the top that's what you use to actually start to tilt the tilt the, the primary mirror again this is one of those sort of things that I was a bit worried about when I first uh, when I first start to look into these scopes in actual fact you know it's really really quite straightforward you look in for that pattern I'm going to try to do it again what you're looking for with a primary mirror is, a, a, is an equal ring around the centre dot. Okay, it needs to be concentric circles around that centre dot. Unless you get those concentric, you will have elongated stars on your photographs. You get that concentric by turning this mirror, the, these screws, in a, and it's, it's very intuitive when you get going at it. It really, really is. It can, sounds complicated, but it's actually not. Quite straightforward. And uh, another thing you want to do is make sure that that collimation that we looked at, it holds for all focus of positions. Yeah, it's no good it being all right at the bottom there and not at the top. Now, to be honest with you, that shouldn't make any difference. If you've got it rightly collimated and these screws all nice and tight, it, there won't be a problem. So again, I hope that was a, I hope that was a useful video. I hope you found that useful. Now, remember, there are additional tools that can help you collimate one of these things, yeah? What I found particularly useful is the Howie Glatter laser collimator, which is extremely accurate. It's, it's not cheap, and I'm gonna look for, I'm gonna pick you, pick you my Howie Glatter up now, just to show you. That's the manufacturer of my particular scope. This is my Howie Glatter laser collimator. It's, it's really, really accurate. And I've done. An, I've, I've, you've probably seen my other video on this. On this guy, it's very, very accurate as a as a collimation device. It's accurate such that I can have that dot twenty five feet away, or if you like your metric measurements, about eight to nine meters away, eight or nine meters. I, and I'm sure it'd be better still as well. And when I wrote, when I turn this around, that dot is accurate to within about a millimeter at a distance of eight meters. So it's a really nice piece of kit. That is very useful for collimating one of these scopes and I'm going to talk about that in another video. So again, I hope you found that useful. Again, one of the reasons I'm doing these is because there's precious little information on the internet about how to get one of these scopes collimated. There's lots of conflicting advice. 
I've actually found it quite straightforward once I've got over that worry hill, if you like. I've got over it now, I'm onto it, I understand it. So again guys, hope you enjoyed this and uh, catch you soon on another video. Cheers, bye.